Welcome to a new week. We're just off to um, the station because we're going to London today. Uh, we're Holly, uh, Mark's mum and sister and me are going to watch Waitress, the musical. Poppy was supposed to be coming but she's not very well so she's staying at home with my mum keeping an eye on her. And Mark and his dad are gonna have a wander around London um, just have a little look round while we're in the theatre so should be good it's going to be 31 degrees today so it's going to be a hot one have you got your fan Holly? I've got two. Oh good she's got two. I've got my electric held hand fan thing that I've just bought so it's going to be a hot day. I'm going to film them through the gap look at them two wallies look. <laughs> Mind the gap, yeah. <laughs> so we've had dinner and now we're just heading out. We've, we know where the theatre is, but we're just going to go... Oh look, there's a crappy shop. We call them crappy shops. Um, we're just going to go and probably have a drink somewhere while we're waiting for the doors to open for the theatre. Boiling. Right, we've had a cup of tea. Now we're just walking to the theatre. I'll show you. There it is, waitress. And it's even hotter now than it was before. Here it is. Holly. Go look at the merch. Look at the merch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and look at the merch. Programs five pounds. Should we get one program? Right, I don't know if you can see us, but we're in here. Mum and Lisa at the back. I know, we said that. I'll show you in a minute. We're in the upper circle. It's quite nice seats. We've got a, oh dress circle. We're in the dress circle. Apologies. And that's the that's the uh, what do you call it? It's the safety screen thing. And at the sides, they've got all these pies going round. I'm not sure if you can see that, but at both sides there's pies going round this thing. So that is the stage, and then they're all down there. This is the theatre. So when I stop sweating, we're going to watch it. Mark and Dad have gone off to, um, I don't know where they've gone actually, just wandering. Oh, they were on the Millennium Bridge. So they're just having a wander. Good morning. I thought, yeah, it's quarter past 11. Thought I'd do a little catch up with you after um, yesterday's trip to, um, where do we go? London. <laughs> Went to London to see Waitress, the musical. It was brilliant. And you saw that clip at the end. We had signs up saying we were allowed to film the end or take a picture. So I took advantage of that because I thought you might enjoy that. Um, but yeah, we really enjoyed it. On a bummer note, poor Poppy is still poorly. Um, she's been sick twice and she, as most of you will know, she has um, sickness anyway. 
Um, she has something called cyclic vomiting syndrome, which is at the beginning of this year she had two bouts of really bad gastric flu and her stomach never settled down afterwards. So therefore she feels sick a lot and she is sick sometimes. So she has medication for that, but this time she's got a virus as well, so she aches all over, she's been sick twice, but because of her sickness thing, she's sick more than a normal person would be. So yeah, I feel sorry for her. She's in her bedroom at the moment, just resting. Mark's gonna stay here today because we're at my mum's today for a family barbecue. And so he's gonna drop me off so I can have a drink and so he can see everyone. Um, and then come back to be with Poppy because obviously we won't leave her on her own when she's being sick and things. So um, yeah, and then I'll bring him some food back later. Uh, as you can see, I have plaited my fringe up today because and I've coloured my hair I don't know if you can probably see it's like a purpley colour I went for so you probably see that on the top um, but yesterday my fringe drove me mad and re recently my fringe has been driving me mad in general and I said a few months ago about growing it out then I gave up and cut it back in again I'm not going to say I don't like my fringe because I like the look of it but I just can't keep up with it and especially when I'm sweating like when it's been really hot and you have to keep trying to style it and then it goes all stupid and I just thought oh do you know what I'm just gonna I've just plaited each side and clipped it up behind and that will do today because I don't care it's too hot <laughs> so I'm wearing this dress today if you can see that it's um, from next I believe I don't know how much it was probably about 30 pounds something like that but it's so cool and lovely because it's really really hot it's going to be 31 degrees today so I might film a bit of the barbecue but my um, step niece and nephews are going and my stepsisters they don't mind the children being filmed but I know there's a paddling pool and I won't film them if they're in their swimming things because I don't agree with that so I will see what I can film and what I can't film okay Filming everyone, doing a circuit. Polly, you look like you've wet yourself the wrong way. Sorry? I said you look like you've wet yourself the wrong way. Good morning and welcome to Bank Holiday Monday. So let me just turn the radio off a minute. Don't want that in the background. Um, it's poxy hot, it's going to be 33 degrees today. So yeah, I'm going to try and stay as cool as possible. But Mark and Holly are going around his mum and dad's today for a buffet. And we would be going, but Poppy's still not well. So it's my turn today to stay with Poppy because Mark stayed with her yesterday when I went to my mum's. Um, but what I am doing, I'll show you. I am upcycling a little table I had. It belonged to my nan. And when she passed away, I inherited it. Oh, I said I'd have it anyway. So it's like this little half moon table and i'm going to upcycle that today so that should be fun i'm going to do it i'll show you in a chalk paint so mark's already sanded it down i'm using shabby chic chalk based furniture paint in pebble gray and then i'm when it's all dry and had a couple of coats the clear varnish will go over the top so that's my job today i'm already sweating buckets hope you're all having a nice bank holiday monday whatever you're doing and i'll catch you with you later
good afternoon. It is, what day is it, Eve? What day is it today, Deuce? She says, I don't care. It's just hot. Um, what day is it? It's Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday, isn't it? Let me just sit down here for a minute. Put you down. Oh, there we go. It's Tuesday today and it's 33 degrees ridiculous or as i call it redonkulous this is ridiculous just thought i'd do a quick catch up because um excuse me while i'm sweating i just thought i'd let you know about what's going on with poppy because last night she ended up in a and e uh, mark had to take her we phoned 111 for advice because she then had diarrhea and sickness but it wasn't stopping and the pains in her stomach were getting worse so we phoned 111 they wanted us to take us to A&E so Mark took her, I stayed here with Holly and basically they said she wasn't dehydrated so they just sent her home um, said that because of her cyclic vomiting syndrome that she has that's why the sickness bug is lasting longer than it usually would so we've just got to ride it out basically but um yeah poor little soul she just throws up she's just laying on even well she's in a room at the moment but she's been on the sofa she's laying in a room not doing anything just feel helpless i don't know how to hope to help her they told us to give her dyrolite well she drank two sips of that and threw up so that's not really helpful is it so feeling very helpless today i am going to do a fibro section this week i'm not going to do it today because one it's steaming hot and two i'm too stressed out about poppy so <laughs> i will do your fibro section but it'll probably either be tomorrow or thursday or friday i don't know anyway oh shush I hope you're all having a nice day and not melting in this weather. I tried to pack a few um, fair of bits of my fairy garden and nearly melted, so gave up on that. But it's just ridiculous the temperature. But tomorrow's supposed to be cooler, so fingers crossed. I can't deal with this temperature, it's ridiculous. Good afternoon. It's quarter past four on, what day are we on? Wednesday today, it's Wednesday. Good news is that Poppy seems to have turned a corner and is starting to feel better, so that's really good. Um, she's had some bits to eat and she's kept them down so far, touch wood. So hopefully we're getting there with her. Um, Holly's gone to Carter's to work out and to cook dinner. I've got a massage, a sports massage later to try and sort my hip and pelvis out because even though it's better than it was it's still very niggly like when you get in and out of the car it's like oh if you've sit, sat for any amount of time oh and i did a coco lime fitness workout this morning uh she's got a new one i'll try and remember to link it below but it's um for your legs it's quite good it's only 10 minutes it's worth giving it a go i mean i couldn't do one for the whole time she was doing it but she said after a while you know you're get the stamina up to do it so i just going to do a quick fibro section this week fibro section bling 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 um and this week i'm going to do it on worrying because i thought it was quite apt with probably being ill and everything this week so my question to you is do you worry a lot are you a worrier because I am. I think I am. I'm quite an overthinker. I think things too much. Um, let me just pour my tea while I'm talking to you. The reason I brought this up was one because obviously of Poppy being ill this week. Just making me tea. Lovely. Um, but also, my sister lends me um, these magazines that she buys called Breathe and they're really really good so if you're into uh, mindfulness or um, positivity anything to do with life skills and things like that 
then definitely get the Breathe magazine. It's, I think it's quite pricey. I'll have a look in a minute. Let me just finish making my tea. trying to sit on the table um, let's see if we can see how much it is 5 it's the price of a book really isn't it but it is a book now don't laugh at me but I left it outside last night and I didn't think it was going to rain and it did rain and now it kind of looks like this so I wasn't very impressed because I haven't finished reading it yet, but I should try and read it through the soggy pages. So they've got some tips on worrying and I wanted to share them with you. So one, the first one is, you know deep down that you cannot plan for every possible outcome. So bring it into the light and tell yourself that because you can't. And they're saying, what they're saying is that people that worry a lot also like to be in control because that control they feel then that they're not going to worry about something because they've got the control over it but it's not the case um, you know that trying to be in control does not make you worry any less it is hard to admit but you know it to be true so exactly what I just said you know that you have managed coped with and survived every unexpected and unplanned for event and situation that life has thrown at you so far because here you are today. So it's basically saying you've coped so far, everything that's been thrown at you, and yes, some people have more things thrown at them than others, but we've coped. We're here. We're here to tell the tale. So, you know, worrying's not going to do you any good for that. Um, you know that relinquishing just a little bit of that need to be in control does not mean your life will fall apart. It means that you, and not your worry, are in control of your own life as you have known all along. And a good piece of advice that someone gave to me was, can you do something about it, the thing you're worrying about? If it's no, then why are you wasting your time worrying about it? Because it's out of your control anyway. And if you are, even when you do have control, it doesn't stop you from worrying. So it's like this vicious circle about control and worry. But anyway, what I find is that the worry then causes stress, which then causes pain and fatigue. So this is what I'm trying to get at with fibro. So the more you keep things really stressed out and you know, you're know you stressed by it all and worried about it all, the more you're gonna hold tension in your body, therefore the more you're gonna be in pain. So really what I'm saying is, as much as possible you need to let go. I mean, if you think at the moment, I know this is probably nothing compared to some people, but I've had all the worry with Poppy and I've got the worry of all the moving and I'm trying to pack little bits as I go, but I know there's going to be loads to still do. And it does worry me, and I'm trying not to worry. I'm trying desperately to put it to the back of my mind. But that's, that again is me. I am a control freak. I love to be in control of situations and things. And if I'm not, that really unnerves me. And this I'm not in control of. I don't know when we're going to move. I don't know, I've got things to sell, I've got things to do, but it will all get done. That's the end of the day, isn't it? We will move, all the packing will get done, all the things that I need to sell will sell. So what good is it to me to worry about it? But how can you stop yourself from worrying? You can't, because you're human, and I think everybody worries. It's a natural thing that people do. But it's how to minimise it, I guess. So I guess it's telling yourself this isn't helping anything and meditation, mindfulness, all that will help too. But anyway, my arm is really aching because I've been holding the camera up. So I'm going to go for today and I know this week's going to be a bit weird because I've been at home a lot with Poppy and 
we haven't been doing all the things that we were going to plan in to do but that can't be helped and I don't like I say I don't film for the sake of filming I will only pick the camera up if there's something I think oh yeah I need to share that with you or I need to tell you that so hopefully you've still got an enjoyable vlog good afternoon just had to check the clock then um it's quarter past one on Thursday so far today I have been to counselling and that went okay we're still trying to sort of discuss what I need out of the sessions so I think we kind of know but we'll wait and see um, Holly's at Carter's she's gone to the gym Poppy's feeling a lot better she's just had some lunch which is great news and I'm waiting for the Tesco shop to come I'm just wiping my kitchen down which is why I'm doing this um, and then we're going to head off to B&M for a couple of bits and pick Holly up so that's my Thursday in a nutshell so yeah that's about it really um, apart from nearly falling downstairs this morning because me foot was so painful but it's true that pain is connected to emotion because I was thinking of something at the time and then my foot went and I thought yeah that's connected but not always I mean people say it's always an, an emotion but I think sometimes like weather and overdoing it and things like that can add to it but then whether that causes you to have an emotion because of those things I don't know who knows but anyway bring on the bungalow so I don't fall down the stairs that's what I say so I thought I'd take you with us for a little bit to B&M it's come oh thanks can you put them on the back what? hang on that's it in we go Right, Billy Bear Han <laughs> is first on the list. <laughs> Dog stuff, Scooby Dooby Doo Bowl. Get that for How much is it? Free. Yeah. No, it doesn't say, does it? Garfield Kitty Bix. Right. They don't come apart, in it. Yeah, I like the one at the bottom. Yeah. I like that one. I think it's a bit big for Evie though, isn't it? No. Two ninety nine. <laughs> no. Two ninety nine. Oh. You wanna get that for the bungalow, do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one? This one or the green one? I like that one. Okay. I think that one's cool. We'll probably put our water on that drink. Yeah, that's a good idea. I better put my pound back. <laughs> oh <laughs> What? Oh yeah, Halloween stuff will be coming soon. I can't get my pound back in, that's it. Right, what do we need? I need bin powder. Uh, oh, I do need toothpaste. Toothpaste. Oh, that's a baby. They look a bit funky. Look, there's a green one. That's perfect for my pens. Yeah, we'll get it then. Okay. Just make sure it zips up. Yep. Does it? Yep. You gonna get that one? Or do you want pink to go with your bag? Mind you, it might clash, mightn't it? What do you reckon? I like this one. That one's funky. Yeah. Open it and check the zip again, because we don't want to get it home and then realise it doesn't work. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. I'll give you one. Dog toys? No, just no. put it in. No. Put it in. What is that? Rose wine and gin fusion. Mm. Mm. Holly might like that. Like oh, have they got bin powder? <laughs> no. What? Carpet freshener. For pet lovers. Pound. Fresh country garden. Do you have to hoover it up? Yeah. I like the one where you just spray it on. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? It's like old fashioned. That's 
Like when we went for, to the pub when we were little and had a Coke. They do that sometimes. Oh. Rice fusions. Rice fusions. Red curry, blimey. Oh, look. What? Scampi fries, don't show me them. <laughs> Ice cream lollipops That's for 79p. That's cool. Something on the arm. I bet they're not very nice though. Look, there's millions. Million lollipops for a pound. 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 I, I would have loved that if I was. What is it, Paddling Pool? Eight pound? It's Toy Story. Oh, I mean, that's cheap. There's a Buzz Lightyear one there as well. That's eight pound. Yeah, it's a ball pit. Yeah, you'd have loved that. Oh, you still that. would. Look at that. <laughs> Great Toy Story toys. Yeah, oh, they've got the. We better get Holly some more biscoffs. I say, can't even have them. Biscoffs. Oh. We're going off the list here, pops. You know that. Well, yeah, but look how much is in our trolley. Not much. Yeah. Too much. We've got a dog bowl. <laughs> but we didn't need. I can't believe we got that. <laughs> look at the size of that roll. That's massive. That's disgusting. Go on. Go and get your belly bare hand. Look, this is where Alice bit me. She put put skin on me. And I was like, yeah, four packs of Billy Bear ham, that'll do you for Thanks. a while. About a week. Yeah. <laughs> I tried their wine for me, but I didn't like it. No. No. Oh, sweetie, I'll. Oh, look at them, little mini after eights. Those are coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. Fancy some? Yeah, it's a nice one. Want some? Someone give it to you. <laughs> yes, please. In the dog bowl. The dog can have it. Nice. Oh. That is a big bar of galaxy. Mm. Dust pan and brush, doesn't he? Yeah. And I need bin powder. Bin powder. Bin powder. Up there? Yeah, up here somewhere. I'll get the guineas some treats. What are going to get them? Corn? Oh, they've had that, haven't they? Yeah. What about these things? They like these. Yeah. Nibble sticks. Is that alright? Yeah. That's quite cool. Fifteen pound. Little terrarium. Four pounds. Love them. They're almost like um. They're like a goldy colour, not silver, are they? They're ten pounds each as well, which is quite good. These are quite nice, but then they've got gaps there. I don't like that. Bits and bobs. Pretty picture. The Florida passed a law that sits there and states that you cannot be on your phone while driving in your car. Why is everybody on their damn phone? And there's no cop around. But yet I go to glance at my phone for two seconds just to check the time, and there's like 15 cops. Not cool. Get off your phone. Good afternoon. It is five to two on it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, and oh, just noticed a, a stray Satsuma on the worktop. You can go back in there. Um, yeah, today I went to meet my friend Wendy with Poppy. Um, Holly stayed here because she was going for training and then she went to a place for training and found out that she wasn't training today So she came back again um, I've just sold some of her Sylvanian family stuff online Which is great because I know a little girl's going to be playing with them Which is what we really want We don't want dealers and traders to buy them We want families to buy them So that's great While I was editing this vlog yesterday I noticed that I showed you me painting the table and upcycling it but I didn't show you the finished article so let me take you to that I did two actually now excuse this lot because this lot is our last 
loft stuff that's going um, to Mark's sisters. Look at this. The swimming certificate for Mark Lord, fearing school, uh, swim continuously 25 metres without touching the side or bottom of the pool. Well, it's better than the one I had, which was walking a width with armbands. It's not even swimming, but there you go. Right, so this is the little one I upcycled, and it's right at the back, so I can't, let me, oh, I can pick it up. So it's just a little table, and it was dark mahogany, and I upcycled it to be the pebble grey. So I'm pleased with that one. And then the other one is behind this door. That's, this is a um, chest of drawers for Poppy for the bungalow. So here it is, look at it. The only problem I have, ah, I could do it this time. I've got all my candles in there. He's opening this drawer, but it opened that time, so that's good. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that from going from mahogany to pebble gray, and then it will fit in nicely now with the color scheme because we're going grey, we're actually going the colour of these walls, I don't know if you can, hello, hello, see this or appreciate that colour, but that's the colour, I keep looking at that, that's for the charity shop, but it keeps looking like there's someone standing there, um, chic shadow it's called, had to think then, chic shadow we're going for in the bungalow, um, we've got more paperwork today from the bungalow, so more things to sign and return. I don't know when it's going to end. I don't know when the actual final contract comes in to sign. Just at the moment, there's just endless sign here, sign that, sign, oh, post this back, post that back. But we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. But anyway, I'm going to leave the vlog here because I noticed last night that it's really long. I didn't think I'm going to have much footage this week for Poppy being ill and I've got like half an hour. But I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. We've got loads coming up next week so tune in subscribe if you haven't done already hit that thumbs up whoa 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 and we'll catch you all next week bye